focus on the intensity of a tropical cyclone, which is defined as the maximum wind speed near the center, and is one of the most critical parameters for tropical cyclone forecasting and disaster management. However, these tropical cyclones spend most of their lifetime on the open ocean to measure their intensity. We need to chase it with meteorological aircraft or wait it occasionally run into an island with a weather station. But due to some reason, none of this method is feasible for productions. On the other hand, satellites can provide us stable information of tropical cyclones. Although this information is not capable of directly measuring the wind speed, they can serve as features for us to construct models. Most of the current models heavily rely on feature engineering to transform low-level satellite images into high-level features before applying various types of regression models. But even for the most experienced meteorologists, it's still difficult to find useful features. Therefore, we can see that most of the current models use less than 10 features. Deep learning techniques has reached superior to human performance in automatic feature construction. According to this advantage, we use convolutional neural network to replace human constructed features. But convolutional neural networks are originally designed for object recognition. Therefore, we need several modifications before applying them on tropical cyclone intensity regression. Besides, we also include domain knowledge into our model design. For example, after a careful experiment, we remove dropout layers and pooling layers. Moreover, according to the trait that information provided by satellite images of tropical cyclones won't be affected by rotation. We rotate each instance evenly by 10 angles for blending. Please check our paper for more details. We also released a new benchmark dataset for this task to facilitate data scientists in starting the task together. Please refer to the link in the page to see more details about this released benchmark dataset. Our result on this dataset verified that the proposed model is pretty good in accuracy while being relatively more stable across all situations. Please check our paper and see you in KDD 2018.